Hey guys, this is just going to be a tutorial on how to install Oxide and operate some of its plugins on your Rust service hosted through Streamline Server's Stream Panel. Once you've gotten access to your Streamline Server's panel, just ensure that you've stopped your Rust service before you continue on with this tutorial. Once the Rust service is stopped, you simply want to press on Mod Manager. From here, we simply want to press on Oxide and then press Install. Once Oxide is successfully installed, it should demonstrate this message here. Simply press OK and then head back to your main service area. From here, we simply need to start the service and then the Oxide files will generate. Once our service has started, we simply want to stop it again. Once our service has been stopped, we just want to press on Farm Manager again, press on Oxide and then we just want to press on Plugins. Once in this folder, this is where we can upload the newest Oxide plugins for our Rust service. So from here, we just want to head to umod.org, which is essentially the renamed Oxide plugin, and we simply just want to press on the download button here. Once we've downloaded the plugin, all we have to do is press on upload, and then drag over the plugin.cs file, and then just press upload. Once the file has been successfully uploaded, we simply want to press up here again, go back to our main Rust service, and we simply want to start the service. Once the service is started, we go back into the file manager, head back into the Oxide folder, and then we can press on config. Once in the config, we'll see our configuration file for our umod or slash Oxide plugin that we recently installed. If you have any issues with this tutorial, feel free to make a ticket on our website, and one of our support staff will get back to you as soon as possible.